My name's Stacey, I'm an artist. I was a part of Audio Black Lab in, in October and I've, I've been invited back to be a part of Mix Lab. Hi, I'm Ricardo, I'm from the University of Manchester and my research is on health and well-being at work and this is Mix Lab. My aim is to test the researchers' knowledge and to get them to sing some of my lyrics. I would like to learn what it's like to collaborate with an artist, I'm not even sure what type of artist, and learn a bit about public engagement, so how I can present my work in such a way that anyone can understand it. The effects that I'll have on my researcher is that they could use poetry or songwriting in the future for future research. Today I would like to test the idea that it's possible to understand health psychology from any background. The equipment that I'm going to use is a pen and paper. The equipment we're going to use today will be some images that we've created as part of my research and actually that's about it. I don't know how it's going to turn out but I feel as though we're going to create a storm, yeah. I intend to approach this experiment with a really open mind, so I'm really open to different possibilities, to thinking creatively, and to adapting my research so it can be understood by anyone in the general population. I don't really see any safety risks, really, because it's just a pen and paper. The issues and obstacles I envisage today are perhaps boring the artist as much as I bore my students when I lecture them on these topics, or us maybe not understanding each other coming from potentially different backgrounds. I actually don't have any levels of expectation about what I plan to produce today. I'm really open-minded, so potentially it could be anything. Hello. Hi. How's it going? I'm Ricardo. Hi, I'm Stacey, nice to Very meet nice you. Very nice to meet you. So, tell me a bit about your art, your, your type of art. Well, I normally do songwriting and poetry, so I've kind of like written out a poem, what, like, the first ever poem, what I've actually ever written before. I've got it on my phone, but I was just writing it out on paper. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's about it. Awesome. So, are you quite new to poetry then? This is your first... Oh, this is the first poem you wrote on your... Well, yeah, I am quite new to it, like... Um, I, I'm a psychologist, so um, the human mind and behaviour, that's my, my kind of interest. One day I went, I went to this writing course called Arvon, and we got told to like, make a song between three people. And it was so hard because we were thinking for about three days, what can we write down? And then as soon as I got on the computer, everything just came out came out and I don't even know where it came from. But yeah, um, Wow, so it's really creative. It into a poem. It, would it be okay to see this, this poem? Or, or, yeah. Or if, or if you'd like to read it out to me, maybe even. Right, I read it out, it says, As I walk along the cobbles on my bare naked feet, taking in the views, feeling incomplete, if only I could get to where I want to be, darkness seeps deep within me. So actually, what's interesting about the way that you um, spoke that poem was it was very rhythmic and that's all drums are just they're just rhythm so you already have an element of that rhythm in human speech we all have our own natural rhythm or we call it cadence sometimes it's the speed at which someone speaks and everyone has a natural pattern for that it would be peculiar if I started speaking really fast like this or if I slowed down a lot I guess everyone has that speed that they automatically speak at so naturally I'm sure you have it really good rhythm. We should, we should get a drum set or something and, uh, and you should... Yeah, uh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Stacey, so, do, you, do you have any ideas about what we could do with our respective yeah. interests? It's hard without a drum, but yeah, I, I was thinking about doing like, like a little poem or something, and maybe trying to make a beat to it. We can yeah, try that, and do that. Yeah, that sounds super interesting to me. Um, a lot of what I do is trying to get through to people. A lot of people already know that they should be more physically active, so coming up with something that's really catchy and simple that goes along with your 
lyrical and poetic skills would be a really good outcome from this. So we did a little bit of an experiment, we went on a little walk and worked out what the BPM of fast walking was, which was about 120, and we wanted to come up with a bit of a poem that went along with that particular tempo, and one that went much slower with a kind of resting tempo. I, I learned that I can't write poetry at all. And I learned the speed of a song. Like, you can, you can like write it off fast or you can write it slow and that can do, determine how, you could, could, how, how it could make your mood. We did get some work done and here it is. Um, we did a poem, a slow one, and then we did a fast one to see how it makes you feel like when you listen to a song. So like, for example, the slow, the, the slow one is, the snail is taking tiny leaps. Like a frog, he finds his feet. Ways are crashing in the midst. Baby steps is all he needs. Learning curiously as, as he goes. One step, two step, off he goes. And the fast one is, where's it gone now? The fast one is, keep up with the ferocious flow, flowing traffic, racing runners as their feet spring on the pavement. You can do it. Stay motivated, keep moving. It's not too late to stop. Think of all the effort you are putting. Your goal is near, just around the corner. I think if someone else had to do this, I would say that they should be really open-minded about what can come from this particular process. And to think about translating the terminology we use. We talked a lot about the different terminology we use in psychology. And a lot of those words aren't very accessible. It's uh, kind of, you do talk a lot, so I kind of forget. Like, when I've got something in me, I, I have to get it out really quick because I forget it or my, my mind just goes blank. I think that's part of it as well. I think one of the problems first is, did we have an aim? Did we create a... a, a no, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have an aim to start off with. We, we were thinking that creatively, but we didn't come yeah. up with a direct aim. We tested walking and BPMs, things like that. So we did go through the basics of the scientific method. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, and then we tested it I, from walking and then with a song or a poem. I'm Stacey. I'm Ricardo. And, and this, this is, is Mixlab. Mixlab.